somebody from Australia, you know, use their lips more. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, Russians like uh, using their lips, don't take me wrong. <laughs> 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 yeah, I guess. Um, but yeah, with, uh, with, uh, with practice and, you know, there's, there's a lot of exercises that people can do. That's what party we are doing at the club meetings, I mean. Yeah. Uh, b by talking uh, more, more you talk, more people talk, more uh, they adjust their speech parts to, yeah, yeah, to, and to the ways mm -hmm. of American and British kind of yeah, uh, exactly. real articulation and so on and so forth. Yeah, and some people are better at imitating or fake, you know, when you, like for example, if I go to Australia and I live a year there, I'll start speaking like an Australian because I will, I'll, I'll listen to it and I'll try, you know, to imitate, to, to fake it. And if I go to, and some people can't do it very well. But, it, um, it was on constant, uh, what you, when you imitate. Uh, uh, well, no, it was both, both. both. I mean, I try, you know, I, ah, I, mean, I, I would try. Um, but for example, if you learn English from a Russian speaker, you're hearing him with an yeah. accent, so you're going to speak like he does. My girlfriend learned from American, so she mm. sounds American, right? Mm. Uh, I have a, a student that learned from a, a person from England, so she has an, a British accent, you know? Because um, you pick that up after hearing, you know, English being spoken with a certain accent, you, you, try, you, you start to imitate.